So for this crafting flip, we're going to be targeting the mats needed for the engineering profession quests. I'm talking about the goblin engineering and the gnomish engineering, but mainly the goblin engineering because that's what most people go into for sappers. So the mats for goblin engineering are 20 big iron bomb, 20 solid dynamites, and 5 explosive sheep. But we're going to disregard the explosive sheep. We're going to focus on the big iron bombs and the solid dynamite. This is for mainly one reason. The main reason is that guides often use explosive sheep as a recipe, but they don't use the other two. So big iron bomb is a recipe you get at level 190 of engineering. And on this guide, wowprofessions.com is, is this website, but it's basically the same for every guide. Most of these guides are just copy and pasted from each other. You can see no mention of big iron bombs. Solid dynamite is 175. No mention of 175 solid dynamite. So uh, whenever people get to the level to do the goblin engineering quest and they don't have the big iron bombs or the solid dynamites crafted, They'll have to go to the auction house or craft it themselves, and considering that if they're following a guide, they probably haven't learned any recipes besides the one included in the guide, they'll probably just buy the bombs off the auction house. And the same goes for Gnomish Engineering, although that one is less uh, applicable because of the fact that less people go Gnomish compared to Goblin. The Gnomish recipe takes different materials than the Goblin recipe. It takes mithril tubes, uh, accurate scopes, and advanced target dummies. Advanced target dummies is actually a good sell because they're also used for Algalon. So if you're going to craft anything from the Gnomish one, I'd say craft the advanced target dummies. The mithril tubes and the accurate scopes are usually negative profit, at least in my experience, to craft, so I wouldn't recommend crafting those unless your realm differs. But the advanced target dummies are a good craft because they double up as useful for Algalon and for this quest. Then here's another guide. This one's from blizzardguides.com. It does mention the big iron bombs, but it doesn't mention solid dynamite anywhere. Uh, it's just more convenient for a lot of people to just buy these uh, quest items off the auction house. And then here's uh, wrathofthelichking.professions.gg. This one does mention explosive sheep, and it does mention big iron bombs, but it does not mention solid dynamite anywhere. Heavy stones sometimes get targeted by people that want to reset the market. So if heavy stones are a stupid expensive price, then that might also be a reason why somebody would just buy the quest items rather than crafting them themselves. So big iron bombs take three iron bars, three heavy blasting powders, and a silver contact. Silver contacts are really cheap on most realms because they're used in a engineering leveling guide, and they don't really have a use outside of big iron bombs. A lot of the recipes that they're involved in just nobody uses. So after they're used by people leveling engineering, they just get discarded on the auction house for super cheap. Uh, iron bars you can get either by mining or just buying them off the auction house. And then the heavy blasting powder. I like to buy the heavy stones and convert them, but you could also technically just buy the blasting powder off the auction house if that's still profitable. The dynamite recipe is one solid blasting powder and one silk cloth. Silk cloth comes from level 30-ish mobs. You can get a lot of it from running uh, Scarlet Monastery, but you can also just buy it off the auction house most of the times. So it's really cheap. And then solid stones you can turn into solid blasting powder. And then for how much to craft, I like to do this crafting flip in a relatively small scale compared to other crafting flips because it's somewhat of a low demand market. I only craft one to two stacks of the big iron bombs and solid dynamite in one sitting, and I have one or two sets sell a day, and that's... 20 big iron bombs and 20 solid dynamites. I don't really bother crafting the gnomish one, although I do craft the advanced target dummies because they double up as being useful on Algalon, and I sell those in stacks of 10 and they sell about once a day or once every other day. If you do this on your own realm, let me know how it works out for you. I almost always sell my items after just one or two days of posting. There's still a demand for 
people who just want to spend the gold instead of spending their time. This is a really high markup crafting flip, which is really nice. And if you want to see my Deadly Blunderbuss explanation, I'll give a link to that in the description.